Hi folks, this is Dan from WebOS Roundup, and welcome to part 3 out of 5 of our video series, Tips and Tricks Every WebOS User Should Know. Um, for more detail on these, for much more detail on these uh, topics, check out our website at webosroundup.com. In part 1 of our video series, we talked about different things that uh, WebOS users can do with the uh, uh, system, uh, just general things, uh, and with the launcher uh, on their Palm Pre and Pixie. Um, in part two, we went over the phone app and the contacts, and hopefully you, all, you guys learned something from that. Today we're going to cover something pretty important. We're going to go over messaging and email, things that uh, everyone uh, who has a WebOS device should be familiar with. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's check out email. So let's say you get an email right here, and uh, there are several things you can do with it. Um, you can mark it as uh, read or unread. You can mark it as you can set a flag. You can move it to a folder. You can show all the recipients that were set. You can do that through the menu, or you can do it through what Palm calls a meta tap. And what a meta tap is is you just hold down the gesture area, and then you tap a key. So, for example, uh, for um, setting a flag, you set uh, you uh, hold down the gesture area, and then you and then you tap a key. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do that, and you can see the flag appear all of a sudden right there and all I did was I just hit that and then the key at the same time and then the flag appeared there and uh, actually while I'm on the topic one thing that every web OS user should be aware of is of course the all inboxes function and the all flagged function so all inboxes will just bring shrink down all of your inboxes from different accounts into one and then also if you flag messages you won't have to hunt for them uh, you can uh, you can just uh, put them in the all flagged now, if you do want to uh, find a certain message um, uh, in particular, what you would have to do is just uh, tap on um, any any one of these uh, things, and then just start typing uh, stuff, and then you and you'll find a, a particular message. Um, I didn't know what to search for in particular. Sorry. Um, all right. So let's say I wanted to respond to that message that I got back there. Okay. Oops. So let's say I mistyped that, right? I, I did do that on purpose, and I want to, and I, I want to do away with the whole word. I just hit Shift and then Backspace, and then watch what happens. Boom, boom. Okay, I can erase one whole word at a time. So, but I was happy with what I was writing. So it says, "Dude, totally agree." It. All right then I could send it. Let's say I just want to save it for a draft or if I want to discard it. There's several things you can do. I can set it as high priority, I can dis discard it, or I can save it as a draft. And again, you can do it through the message right there or you can also do the meta tap where you hold down this and then uh, you do uh, you tap a letter. So let's say um, I want to set it as high priority. So I'm going to do a meta tap and J. Okay. And there now you see it's red. So when they receive it, it will say that it's high priority. Okay. Let's say I want to uh, just get rid of it. I'm 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 just going to do away with this. If I swipe the message away, uh, the, my Palm Pre will save it. Okay. So if you don't want to save it, you just rather just get rid of it. Uh, just hold the gesture area and then t uh, tap D. Boom. Disappears. Okay. All right. Um, I think for email that pretty much covers it. Um, one thing that you should know about email is that um, you 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 should know battery battery savings, um, exchange accounts. Uh, if you have one, if you have it set to push where you receive uh, email, it's actually more efficient according to Palm. Um, if you, if you want to uh, reduce your power consumption, you can uh, do that by setting, setting your fetch to every 15 minutes or so. But basically, the take-home that I wanted to tell you was exchange accounts generally suck less battery when they um, are set to push email, okay, or to receive them as items arrive. That's what that means. Um, Gmail is generally probably second place, and then um, I would say web-based accounts, uh, or pop, uh, if you know what that means, just web-based accounts like Hotmail, for example, they tend to suck more battery uh, when when you uh, have frequent fetching, okay? All right, so that's that. So now let's talk about, let's talk about, um, 
let's talk about messaging and I'm pulling it out of the way here so I don't so I don't give anybody's identity away let's say you want to find uh, let's say you want to find a, a certain conversation see I find my friend Kasim here by typing Q A S okay yeah if you had a whole bunch of uh, conversations you don't have to scroll up and down just start typing his name okay I find that and uh, I have a patch where it opens another window you don't have to have that okay and there you go he <laughs> we, we were talking because he he's very, he very proudly uh, displayed to me that he set up his touchstone in his car so he was very proud of that um, but uh, that's how that's how you can uh, get to somebody's email. Now let's say I see this and I want to forward it to my wife. I tap the message and I say forward. I can uh, I can copy the text. I can forward it by email. Now while I'm talking about copy text, a very important thing to remember is you can actually um, you can actually uh, um, copy the text of an entire conversation um, by going to edit and now you see where it says copy all okay it's not the most obvious thing in the world because edit is in pretty much every menu so you tend to ignore it but when you're in a certain uh, chat window you tap edit and you say copy all and now I can uh, I can actually make I can write a new email address I can write a new email sorry uh, with that and email it to myself if I want to save that conversation all right um, that's pretty much it. Oh, another very important thing that everyone should know is you need to stay off of IM if you want to save battery. Okay, and I have my finger here just to protect the identity. Sorry, of the people. I know that I'm, it's kind of awkward this episode with my fingers being in the way, but it's on purpose. You just tap here on the on 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 the icon, and you can sign in or out. Okay, so. That's basically that, guys. Um, uh, I would I would tell you um, just play with these things uh, and figure them out for yourselves and get more comfortable with them, and uh, you'll find that uh, this device is quite a snap to use. So that covers uh, email uh, and messaging. Um, oh, I did not cover emoticons, uh, the smileys. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, uh, go to uh, webosroundup.com. We've got a great. Uh, I have a uh, and great image that has all of the uh, smileys that uh, webOS uses. So tune in next time. We're going to be talking about a very important topic as well. Uh, we're going to talk about actually multiple topics. I'm going to talk to you about the calendar. I'm going to talk to you about the browser. I'm going to talk to you about the camera. All right. So that's it. That does it for part two of our series. Thanks for watching.